the guys. Welcome back to Let's Play for Fire Emblem. Alright, so I'm going to give her the Cillian Whip this time. Go off! So I got everybody leveled up, so we're good to go there in the arena. I also forgot to promote Priscilla, because she has a guiding ring. Excellent. Still gotta defeat Oleg down here. Um, which I don't rightly know who to bring out. Mm. To fight. Definitely not Fiora. Uh, He's got a bow. Kind of thinking Hector. Let's see, what's his, uh, range like? Okay, so if I bring him out here... Nyom. I think we'll be okay. I'm going to want to bring Matthew in. He's going to use the, the bow. Uh, actually, if I sit him here with the axe, that might be the best bet. The thing is, I want to make sure Matthew has inventory space. Yeah. We can do this. Okay. It ends here. Your journey is over and only oblivion awaits you. Okay. So we get Matthew in there. Steely steel. Mike. Okay. Now we can finish him off. Bam! Bam! Okay. Who should do the final blow, though? Probably Ellie would, or maybe Fiora for the experience. Yeah. Nice. Beat, there is only death. <coughs> Yay! All right. Hey, are you okay? Mm, sorry to worry you. You don't have to push yourself so. We'll have time for mourning when this is all finished. For now, in my father's name, I will do everything I can to stop Nurgle and protect our lands. Let's see. So, what do you have in mind? I need to see Marquis Ostia, my brother. After all we've learned, we cannot tell him, can we? We can't not tell him, sure, I guess. Hector, why that odd expression? Hector doesn't want to meet Lord Uther. He's been lax in contacting him and is afraid to face him, right? What? How did you expect me to send him any messages? when we're trapezing about the aisles like merchants on holiday. <laughs> He's going to be so mad. Come here. <laughs> we're both in good spirits. It's a lot better than giving in to despair, I suppose. <laughs> Lord Elliewood, are you feeling better? Marcus, I'm fine. I know I worried you. About Lord Albert, at my own discretion, I sent a message to Lady Eleonora. See. Thank you, Marcus. That was well done. I thought she should know as soon as possible. Marquess's final moments were so very noble. Lord Elwood. Commander Marcus. Ah. 
Is, is that you, Isadora? I finally found you. Glad you're well. Isadora, what are you doing here? Don't tell me something's happened to Mother. No, Lady Eleonora is well. Don't worry. When word of Lord Albert's death reached her yesterday, she said not a word. She merely gave me uh, gave her full attention to the messenger. Mother. And then she issued me orders without hesitation. She commanded I deliver this sword to Lord Eliwood and remain at his side. The castle defenses will be shorthanded. Lord Eliwood, please, understand your mother's feelings. Lord Albert is not coming home. All your mother can do now is pray for your continued safety. O obey your father's dying wish. That is her message to you, and I have delivered it. Why not petition Ostia? for reinforcements to help Ward Castle Theory. Good idea. I guess it would ease my mother's fears and bow to her wishes. It's that thinking that makes you Lord Elliewood. Our battles are like nothing you've ever prepared for. Are you ready to face them, Isadora? Yes, I will serve with my very life. Joshua! Eliwood, you don't need to worry. Despite what you may think, he is as strong as there is. You're not having the greatest run of luck either. I'll wager you never thought uh, things would turn into such a terrible mess, did you? If it gets to be too much, you can leave at any time. You're a reliable and dependable tactician. But you're not our servant, you know? If you think our task impossible, you should get out. You're as smart as they come. I know you don't need me to tell you that. Let's get some shit sleep, okay? <laughs> Gotta rest when you can. It's even more true in the middle of a campaign like this. Sonia. Limstella. You called, Lord Nurgle? I wouldn't need time. It was a deep cut, and my strength is not what it was. The man who did this to me is dead. I'd like his son's death as compensation. Sonia. You will use Brendan to move the Black Thing. Do not need mere underlings now. I need the four fangs. <laughs> Leave it to me. I'll have them bowing their heads to you, my lord. And Stella, I want you to gather me quintessence. For this injury to heal, I'll need much. You are the strongest of all my morphs. Kill all those who bear signs of great power. As you will. Kingship's bond. The group travels west to meet with Lord Uther, the Marquess of Ostia. Lord Uther is an intelligent leader and power in the Lycian League. He has also been a father to Hector ever since their parents died many years ago. Hector's reunion with his brother is a happy one, if somewhat embarrassing. Hector continues his journey filled with complex emotions. At length, they arrive at a fortress that separates Etheria and Ostia. Lloyd Linus Linus <laughs> Linus, yes Makes much better sense That's everyone, is it not? If I have you, the four fangs together I need no one else I have need of you to eliminate a man Who's living plagues me It's 
name is Elliewood, no bullet Peary. Peer is located in Lycia, is it not? That's right. But he is no simple country lord. He has friends. Other Lycian lords. Individually, they are no match for you, and yet, carelessness invites death. Do not make that mistake. Lloyd. Linus. I have work for you, the Reed brothers, as well, alright? One question. Are these our fathers, or... I mean, the orders of the head of the Black Pain? Why, naturally. Isn't that right, my beloved? Mm. Oh, yes. There. You satisfied? Remove Ellywood. Your orders come from the head of the Black Fang, Brendan Reed. If members of this group, you will follow that order, yes? Or does your opponent frighten you to immobility, Lloyd? Sonya, how dare you speak to my brother in such a... Minus. Sonia, we do not need to be chastised by you. Under our father, we are the ones who carried out the law of the Fang. Eliwood is an evil person. There is no reason for us to hesitate. Fang lets none escape. We, the brothers, read, dispense the Fang's justice. Ursula, Jafar, you understand your orders, yes? If you find the target, you eliminate him at once. It will be as you say, Lady Sonia. Anything for you. Receive my orders. I will do my duty. Your target's name is Eliwood, Noble of Fury. Bring him down on the Black Bang's honor. Hmm. Oh boy. Oh. Bad word. From my brother. He's already on his way here. We're to wait for him. Lord Uther is coming here himself. So it appears. I told you this before, but Castle Ostia, uh, not to mention the city itself, is filled with countless foreign spies. I assume he thinks it will be easier to speak freely here. But wouldn't leaving Ostia generate even more attention? He's traveling in secret with very few attendants. He's skilled at this sort of thing. There's no need to worry. How unconventional. It must run in the family. And what exactly is that supposed to mean? Uh, nothing. I'm very much looking forward to meeting him. Nils, are you well? You seem distant. I'm fine. Just a little tired. If we can sit still for one night, I'd be... At no! Nils! Nils? Nils, are you alright? Nils, open your eyes! Ninian, calm down! I... Let's move him into the back room and call a healer. You mustn't move him. Huh? Ninian? I'm sorry, I... Please, just for now, don't move him. But, please, let's do as Minion says. She must have her reasons. Please, just one night's rest. That should make things bright. Uh, if it's going to make him feel better, fine. Whatever you do, don't move him. I'll let the others know. Lord Hector, my apologies. No worries. This is where the Fury and Noble and his friends are, eh? Yes, Commander Baines. Very well, Heath. Your unit will attack from the west uh, of the fortress. Your mission is to put an end to the entire group. Make no mistake. Are you serious? Marquis Laos abandoned us and just vanished. We have no reason to engage this group. We answered Marquess Laos's call, and we will honor our duty. Regardless, we cannot remain in Lycia any longer. We rebelled against Ostia, and our entire mercenary force is hunted. If we take their heads, we can join the Black Fang in Fern. I'm 
opposed to this plan. There are women and children in their group. What you would ask of us? It's something no knight, no man could do without shame. Listen well, Heath. You're a wanted man, a fugitive from Burn. How about we take you and hand you over to Burn's Wyvern Riders? You might even be knighted as a reward, given honest work. <laughs> Thought as much. Everyone wants to protect his own skin. Now, get your unit together. We attack! Sir, we're under attack! It's the East Gate. The foe is already inside. Blast! They would show up now. We can't move Nils. Let's try and hold them off. Protect Nils. Don't let anyone... Well, don't let them near him. Alright. So we will get this all sorted out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, promote some people here. Um, now the question is, should it be Sarah or Priscilla? Now we'll go with Priscilla. She becomes a Valkyrie! Yay! Now we can use Anima Magic. Okay. And we're actually going to give her some. Boy, yeah. Okay. Now, who is next? Um, I have a Hero Crest. Um, and that is for mercenaries, Myrmidons, and fighters. So we can give that to Guy or Raven. I said I was going to use these weapons, or use people I haven't used before, so, guy it is. Hooray! He's going to become a sword master. Who should I give it to? Oswin? Kent? Sane? One of these three. Um... Hmm. Let's give it to... Who's the better one? It's kept strength, defense, skill, and speed. He's got... Two less skill, two less speed. Yeah, we'll go with Sane. Nice. Alright, so that's pretty much got this set up. Um, I'll probably move around weapons and whatnot. So, um, yeah. I will be back, and we'll start this next chapter. Godspeed, stay frosty. See ya.